first time to our channel and you would like to know everything that there is to know about living in Tulsa, Oklahoma or the surrounding areas, be sure that you hit the notification, tap the bell to get all of the current market information in reference to this area. So as I mentioned, my name is Jessica Ford with the Ford Group at Chinwith & Cohen Realtors and we get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to the area. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or schedule a Zoom. We would love to help you make a smooth move to Tulsa. moving to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, in this video, we are gonna take you around Jinx, show you some different houses in some different price points that may be a fit within your budget, and also show you some lifestyle of the Jinx area. And if you stick around until the very end of the video, I am gonna share with you one of our family's favorite places to go, as well as introduce you to a family friend. So you don't wanna miss that. So let's get after it right now. We're at an older neighborhood in Jinx where you can purchase a house for 350000 This house behind me is approximately 2,400 square feet. You're going to pay right around $1.48 a $148 a square and the neighborhood is a little older approximately 22 years old and that is going to get you right around a four bedroom two and a half bath with a two car garage the taxes in the jinx area are typically going to be higher than the other areas that are surrounding the tulsa city limits because their school district is one of the highest rated school districts in Oklahoma. We're out at Yorktown in Jinx. In this subdivision, you can expect to pay right around $181 a square. This house is priced at $420,000. It is a perfect downsizing home. Because it's one story, it's a three bedroom, two bath, three car garage, and this neighborhood has lots of amenities. There's a pool available, there are walking trails that are available, there are pet amenities that are also available. And this neighborhood is very clean. It looks like everyone keeps their yards up and there's landscaping, um, not a lot of like trash cans out or cars that are parked on the curb. And this neighborhood was built like right around 2015, 16, 17. There are some, still some new construction that are going on around. So this neighborhood does not have a lot of mature trees. And I'll drive around the neighborhood so that you can see what it looks like. All of the houses have some really nice landscaping. People keep their yards looking good. This neighborhood offers pools. They have two parks in the neighborhood. They have three stock ponds if you like to fish. They also have a sports court. And as I mentioned, they also have some walking trails. So it's very conveniently located at 131st and Elwood. neighborhood that we're visiting today is at Hickory Creek in Jinx. In this neighborhood you can expect to find houses that were built 2001, 2022, and currently this year. Those are going to be priced right at 208 a square and the asking price is going to be right around $520,000. Um, a lot of these homes in here are still new construction that are one story and so they are excellent for downsizing. This is a gated community and so 
it really appeals to people who are looking for a one story that's a gated community um, for that security and all new construction, which means new, absolutely new everything for right around the 520,000 price point. Her trees and the landscaping, those are kind of the pros and cons of buying a new construction house versus an already built up subdivision. However, those are your choices in Jinx. So I hope that I've shown you something that would possibly fit in your price point and budget and given you a good look around what is available in the Jinx area. So as I mentioned, we are in Jinx. We are at the Riverwalk right now. The Riverwalk offers different dining options as well as some boutiques and some local shops. There's golf suites down here. So if you are a golf enthusiast and would like to book um, a suite for that, that is also available. There are trails all around Tulsa and the Jinx area that go around the river. And so people bike and run, rollerblade, walk down here, and it provides great activity as well as things to do in nightlife. The downtown Jinx area has been built up quite a bit and has a great draw in the evening time the lights are on and there's events as well as different restaurants that you can go to the lights are stunning when the night hits the backyard is a cool space it has room for your kids to run around and a great patio space maggie's music box down Town Jinx offers live music and they have rotating food trucks which offer like Josh's Snow Cones or the Cape Brewing Company. And then the Oklahoma Aquarium is open late on Tuesday evenings and the food shop is magical. It is actually a spectacular exhibit that we love to bring our kids to. One of the things that my family and I love to do down at the Riverwalk is to hop on one of these scooters after having lunch at the Waterfront Grill. The Waterfront Grill is one of our favorite places to eat after church on Sunday or to come for a special event. The food is always excellent and you have the views of the river. It's very relaxing atmosphere and has something for our whole family to enjoy. So as I mentioned, if you stick around to the end of the video, that I was gonna share something that our family loves to do, which is to come to the Jinx Aquarium. This place is known for all of its marine life. And I'm gonna share with you our special friends. Thank you for taking this tour with us. schedule it to Zoom, and until next time, we hope to see you around town.